Bonjour, je m'appelle Colleen et je n'aime pas les escargots. And I'm Shannon and I don't like snails. And, and we're picky eaters. So you speak French? Un peu. I mean, a little. Okay. But that's what you say when you don't want them to put stuff on your food. Where are we? We're in France. We're here at Epcot today and we're going to eat in France. Tell. Yeah, we're going to eat in France at Chef's Day France. Just like that. <laughs> Chef's de France? Yeah, we're going to eat there. Um, it's in the French France Pavilion. Yeah. Uh, which I have not been to since Remy's Ratatouille Adventure opened. So hopefully we're gonna ride that. But that's not really relevant. We just, I just wanted to talk about the France Pavilion. Um, people suggested we go here. Yeah. So that's why we decided so to go here. So here we are. Um, it's impossible to get a reservation at Space 220. We tried. Um, I try all the time. So we have a lunch reservation at 2.50. And their lunch and dinner menus are different, I believe, but not very different. Are they? I think. We like bread, and France I, has I bread. Do. I love bread, so I'm all about the bread. Yeah. But we don't like snails. Yeah. And I don't like cheese. Yeah. That's Those true. Very French things. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's all we have to talk about. Um, welcome back. We were gone for a month. But it was my birthday. It's not her birthday. I said it was but... my birthday. I'm not you. It's my birthday! For like a month. But she's wearing the birthday button. But I was like, it's my birthday before it was my birthday. After my birthday, I'm over it. That's not true. It's <laughs> not true at all. We're recording this in late October, hence Halloween here. Um, but it'll be almost Thanksgiving by the time you guys are watching this. It'll be almost time for the marathon show. Are we doing something for that? I don't know. I'm I don't sure. have any marathon show details, but I was like, you know what? I'll bring it up and then I'll put a text on the screen or something. Yeah, be there'll be a marathon show. show. Charity. Bienvenue. Oh my God. And welcome to Chefs de Francie. That's it, we're exhausted. Unless you, who is the bibliothèque? So, paper menus. Crazy. Crazy. In this economy. I don't know what you're saying in this economy. <laughs> Cocktails and house specialties. So there's a French martini, a cocktail de chef, which is sparkling wine and leger cassis, a Saint-Germain cocktail, coupe de champagne, And then there are sparkling and champagnes, and white, and rosé, and red wine. Lots of wine. I don't actually know what I'm gonna get, because I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what most of these words mean. I know all the words in the French martini. I like champagne, like, I bet. I like, oh, those are really fun. These cocktails are expensive. <laughs> Yeah. cocktails are over $18. I would like to get the French martini. French martini? There's an option here. You can do a free fee menu. So it's you pay $59.90 and you get an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, and then a glass of Chardonnay, a Cab Grenet Sauvignon, or a non-alcoholic. But no discounts on it. Which that seems like a relatively good deal. The yeah, entrees are all pretty so expensive. Yeah. So. so let's see. Appetizers. Cassolet d'escargot de bourbon au bleu. First deal. A casserole of Burgundian escargot baked in parsley and garlic butter. 
snails. French onion soup, a salad, which is greens, house vinaigrettes, bacon, tomatoes, and croutons. Then a uh, baked goat cheese with walnut, grape tomatoes, mixed green salad. And then a charcuterie board with cheeses, charcuteries, and house bread. So you don't want any of those? I don't want any of those. Lots of cheese involved. Lots of cheese. I think I'm going to get French onion soup. Chad's going to get the French onion soup. The French onion soup, which is top topped with cheese and is ten seventy five. You don't want to say what type of cheese? Nope. My French martini is fifteen seventy five. So for entree, this is a pretty small menu in the grand scheme of things. There's only five entrees. That makes it easier though. So we've got filet de salmon, marinade, uh, and lock, that's citron, this sauce champagne. I didn't take French in high school. Not that I think you're that much better. But anyway, that is white wine and lemon marinade, salmon, broiled and served with rice with champagne sauce for $33.25. Next we've got ratatouille, served on quinoa with kale, so that's the plant-based meal for $24.99. That's the cheapest one, obviously. Salad du chef uh, poulet. I know that poulet means chicken because it's pollo in Spanish, poultry. And sa that salad means salad. Chicken with tomatoes, celery, onions, hard-boiled eggs, Swiss cheese, romaine lettuce served, chilled with a French red wine vinegar dressing for $29.90. Uh, beef, bourguignon, linguine. Braised beef and cabernet. Baby onions, carrots, and pasta for $32.75. And then finally, the filet de beef grill with sauce. <laughs> All these other words. Grilled tenderloin of beef with green peppercorn sauce, mashed potatoes, green beans for $39.75. That one's the most expensive. Yeah. What are you going to get, Shannon? That's a good question. Maybe the braised beef? You don't want to get the ratatouille? I guess maybe one of us should get the ratatouille. We don't have to get the ratatouille. Were you also thinking the braised beef? I was thinking the other beef. Maybe we shouldn't both get beef. That's kind of what I, yeah. Or we do. <laughs> I think you should get the ratatouille because it's my birthday. I didn't demand what you eat. So I'm going to look up what, what we ordered already. You ordered the last beef one. The beef tenderloin. And I ordered the French onion soup and the ratatouille. But now we're going to look up what ratatouille is. It's a 2007 American computer animated comedy. What is ratatouille? I don't want to look at a whole. Ratatouille is a French Provencal dish of stewed vegetables. So the vegetables in this recipe say like eggplants, tomatoes, squashes, and zucchinis. Which I like some of those. Like 
French onion soup. Very good cheese on top. If you're not familiar with French onion soup, there's always a layer of cheese. Very warm. I mean, oniony. French. So even though quinoa is the part 
that like I know that I will eat. It's kind of my least favorite part of this so far because of the kale mixed in and the texture of those two. Whereas the outside is just kind of like a thin salsa. That like I'm not a big fan of salsa. But, like, a big reason I don't like salsa is all the chunky stuff on my chips. But I don't have chips. <laughs> and it's not as chunky. I don't know, it's very interesting. It's not bad though. And I'm still working on my soup. Which I like very much, so. Good soup. Colleen's gonna try the ratatouille. Okay, I got some chunky stuff and some quinoa. tastes like salsa. Yeah. That's kind of weird because it does taste like salsa. Like not what I thought. And yeah, in the in the cartoon, <laughs> it's like a pile of like sliced vegetables. And that's not what this is. Yeah. It tastes like salsa. I know. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just kind of weird. So if you like salsa, <laughs> you'll like this is great. It's not what I expected. No. Not what I thought Ratatouille was going to be. This is the Cocktail de Chef, which is sparkling wine and Leger Cassis. I don't know what that last one is really. But. <laughs> tastes like sparkling wine, but obviously there's something in it to give it this color. Tell them about the Riesling. So, I like sweet wine, and so when she asked if I want another martini, I said, no, I would do Riesling. And she's like, the Riesling is not sweet. She's like, French Riesling is not sweet. She's like, the only really sweet things would be the champagnes. None of the whites are sweet. So then I was like, oh. <laughs> then I've got this cocktail. This cocktail was $10.95. It was the cheapest one, that's really why I picked it. But so yeah, so that was interesting. So she was like, the white wines aren't sweet. And normally when I drink wine, I drink sweet white wine. I drink like $5 <laughs> pineapple wine, to be honest. So, for desserts. There are three dessert options. Uh, creme brulee, which is a vanilla creme brulee for $11.95. A chocolate tart with white chocolate mousse cocoa coolies insert for $12.95 and a berry fruit salad with mint syrup and a madeleine for $12.50. We're gonna get the creme, creme brulee and the chocolate tart. Thank you. Pretty simple to what you would expect. What's creme brulee, Shannon? What's creme brulee? Yeah. Uh, it's what Sharpay makes. Or she doesn't make it, but the guy makes it for her at the end of high school. <laughs> so. It's a cream. That's brulee. It's brulee with fire, right? I don't think you're wrong. Do you not know? I don't, but I was trying to make it really <laughs> sound like you didn't know. Creme brulee, also known as burned cream. <laughs> a rich custard base topped with a layer of hardened caramelized sugar. There we go. There we go. They sang me happy birthday. Yeah. In French. That's good. It's got like chocolate crust. And chocolate over it, and then it's like white chocolate inside. Want to try the creme brulee? Sure. Mm -hmm. Just kind of tastes like custard. Yeah. I like the chocolate better. Okay, chocolate tart. It's good, yeah. It's like the chocolate on top is very rich. But then the white chocolate is not as rich. It's very balanced out. And the crust is on the bottom too. And I love a chocolate dessert that doesn't have a drizzle of raspberry on it. It has an actual raspberry on it, but. All right, creme brulee. Mm. Mm. 
very warm. Yeah, I mean, it just tastes like custard with that crunch of sugar, which like the burnt sugar on top doesn't really taste like anything. It's just kind of a nice texture. It's fine. It's fun to break it. Break it for the camera shit. Okay. squeezed onto a corner of the table. Well, the sun doesn't shine in my eyes. I mean, we go totally in the shadow. It's too late. <laughs> okay, we started, so whatever. Look at that tiny door. Oh, yeah. Where did we eat today, Colleen? Chefs de France. No, that's not right. Chefs de France. Yup. I got the French martini, which was good. It was different, but I liked it. And then I got the cocktail de chef, which was much more just like sparkling wine tasting. And I think I like that one better. But like, if you're going there for the first time, I think the French martini would be more interesting to try. Yeah. We got a baguette with some butter. That was very that was good. good. That was I mean, spread. Spread. very hard to spread the butter, but. I mean, yeah. But it was warm and crunchy bread. Yeah. You got an appetizer. French onion soup. That was very good. Very good French onion soup. Good soup. And then we got our entrees. And mine was the um, beef. And uh, it had green beans and mashed potatoes. And it was very plain and boring. I ate all of it. I didn't <laughs> eat all the green beans, but. And it had like a green peppercorn sauce, but I didn't like that at all. It even touched the potatoes, and I still ate them. I didn't like mix the potatoes with the sauce, yeah. or like mop up the sauce or anything. I took a bite of the potatoes, they were really good. So it was a very plain meal. So like if you're a picky eater, and you're going to friends, that's a great, solid, boring thing to order. Yeah, I think that's what I would get if we went there again. I thought that like someone should get the ratatouille. So I got the ratatouille with quinoa. Um, it was very surprising. I mean, we both tasted it. We both said it tasted like salsa. I yeah. mean, there's not really any other way to describe it. I don't think either of us would ever like order that again. No, I wouldn't. But like, I ate some of it. So then we got desserts, and you got some too. I did, they sang happy birthday in French. Uh, and so we had the chocolate tart, and that was very good. We both were saying it tasted like ice cream. It did, like the white chocolate inside tasted like ice cream. And it was like cold, but not as cold as ice cream would be. And it wasn't quite the texture of a kind of a soft serve ice cream -y. Um, but not quite the same texture, but the taste was very like a vanilla ice cream. We ate that whole thing. We did. And then the creme brulee was good. Was, but I like I like the chocolate type brunch better. And yeah. That was definitely my you know the creme brulee was you know burned sugar on top and custard and it was fine. We ate like half of that maybe. There was nothing here that blew us away, but there was nothing that was like oh. Generally, like I feel like it was an average of okay. Yeah. It was average. Just even like my very plain boring meal that I ate all of wasn't like amazing. Yeah. When it comes to pickiness, I wouldn't choose this restaurant. No. This is definitely one of those, uh, if you're going there with other people who want to go there, then there's something that you will eat if you're picky. But if you're just a picky eater, you're with a group of picky eaters, then don't choose this. I mean, it's a very short menu which makes it easy to pick from, but um, there's not a lot on the menu for picky eaters. There's no chicken nuggets. If you like French wine. Yeah, I mean, there's there. a lot of wine. <laughs> so like, if you're into wine, you should probably actually just go to a vineyard. Our server was very attentive. She really was. Almost too much in a normal situation. I don't remember her name. It was something like cider. Yeah. She was French. Yeah. 
So she was good. But yes, yeah, she was very attentive, which in a normal situation would be great, but since we were filming and like it therefore takes us a really long time to do this whole process, she kept going over and be like, Are you ready to order? And it's like, no, because we haven't even read the menu yet. Yeah. <laughs> we have set up the camera and I've read the drinks that well. But she was very nice. She was very good. So like two and a half? It's, it's okay, it's average, what we Yeah, I think so, where it's like, none of the food was bad, but like, for Pekinas, it's bad. Chef's defense, two and a half out of five chicken nuggets. Another thing, it's not like the atmosphere of the restaurant is like an amazing experience or something, you know? It's true. It's just a nice restaurant, so. Yeah. There's nothing really like unique about it. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, she's very attentive. It was almost like, if I was at a restaurant in France, they would not be this nice to me. <laughs> no. They would not be at all. Yeah. When you join us next month, it'll be another Dapper Day edition. That's right. And we will be eating at Tony's Town Square restaurant because that was the only reservation available at Magic Kingdom. And I was like, fine. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. We're gonna eat at Tony's. If you've got a restaurant here at Walt Disney World that you want us to eat at, Tell us in the comments. And that doesn't have to be at the parks and the main resorts. So. Or Disney Springs. Disney, Disney Springs. Anything on Disney property that you're like, hey, I want to see them try to eat here. Yeah. Um, someone suggested Tony's at some point, so I think multiple people have. So thanks for watching this episode of Picky Eaters. Like, comment, only positive things though, and subscribe and notifications yeah, yeah, and whatever it is you do. Bell. If you liked this episode, then we're Colleen and Shannon. And if you didn't like this episode, then we are Disney, Desi, and Sabrina. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye. bye.